Something that everyone seems to struggle with is completing the square. And by far, the thing that people hate the most is when you've got a number in front, like here, this negative two. So in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to deal with that. And we're gonna see it really is not bad at all. So the first thing I like to ask people when they come ask me about doing this kind of problem is, well, what if that negative two was not in front? Could you complete the square then? So if you can, then that's great. You can definitely complete the square with a number in front as well. If you can't, I've got another video about that. Check it out right here. And that shows you real quickly how to do, do these problems. Okay, so let's keep going. So the first thing you wanna do is divide both sides by that number that's in front. Now you may be saying, wait a second. I mean, I don't wanna divide both sides because negative one divided by negative two, that's ugly, I'm gonna have a fraction. And you're right, you will, but just bear with me. Go ahead and do it, and we'll see. Life will not be that bad. Okay, so the negative twos cancel. I'm left with x squared. 10 over 2, I get 5, and this becomes positive 1 half. Okay, so the point is, once you did that, on the right now, you've got something that does not have a number in front. So that's great. So you just complete the square with that. So pretend like the left side's not there. Don't even worry about it just complete the square on the right. So if we did that, I would take half of five, which is five halves. Here I keep my one half and I subtract my new negative five halves squared. Again, if that's not something you feel so comfortable with, check out my video on completing the square. I'll show you exactly how to deal with that. Okay, so at this point, you've actually done most of the problem. Really now we're just kind of cleaning up some little stuff. So let's go ahead and do that. So the first thing I wanna do here is just get common denominators on the right and add this all up. So first I'm gonna go ahead and take at the end here, my negative five halves and square it. That gives me positive 25 over four. Now I can see with the one half minus 25 over four, my common denominator is going to be four, of course. So one half, instead I can write that as two over four, okay. Go ahead and add those together, and what do we get is negative 23 over 4. Okay, so all this left now is on the right, right, we've completed the square. That's done. On the left, I just need to pull that negative 2 back over. So I'm going to take both sides and multiply them by negative 2. So I do negative 2 on the left, and then on the right, take both of these parts and multiply them by negative 2. So if I do that, on the left, the negative twos cancel, and I'm just left with y. On the right, if I distribute that in, I put the negative two in front of this part. Then over here, I get negative two times negative 23 over four. That is positive 23 over two. And there you go, you did it. You completed the square with the number in front. So really, we saw all you're doing is you're getting rid of that number in front, completing the square and then moving it back. So that's why I believe if you can complete the square without a number in front, you can definitely do it with a number in front. Hope that makes sense. If you have any questions, if you want me to talk about anything else, please let me know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys again soon.